y'all what's up welcome back if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel my name is helen and today we're getting into a delicious mm, heartwarming fall meal i say this is fall with winter for you. i think you can eat this at any time actually for those of you all who are trying to transition to plant-based or you are currently plant-based maybe vegan and you're looking for some other options some quick meals because we're not trying to slay over the stove all day we don't want to just sit there and wait for things to cook in the oven and y'all know how spaghetti squash or any kind of squash can be it's going to take a while in that oven today i pulled out my pressure cooker and we're going to use the pressure cooker to make us a spaghetti squash this is going to be a really nice thick savory healthy kind of light on the carbs a little heavy on the protein spaghetti squash meal so if you're interested stay tuned so we're just gonna get into this thing you see what it looks like let me show you how i make it i'm drinking water i need to put some more in here and y'all i've been drinking the banana flavored liquid iv oh my god i know it says it's for kids <laughs> but this is so good this is so freaking good. I'm like, okay. Y'all see, I got my Astros earrings. Ghost rolls. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm drinking water as much as I can today. Listen, we're about to get into this thing. We're about to try something that I've never done before. I've made spaghetti squash many times in the oven. I'm very impatient. We all know this. And I'm ready to eat, like, within an hour. So, the one that I picked up is from Walmart, and it's Bebo Spaghetti Squash. Um, they had it marked wrong at $1.29 each instead of per pound, so I got one. I didn't go get them all. I just got one. I've already washed it. It's clean all over. And I'm just going to bust this thing open and see if we can get into here. Because I'm just going to cut it in half because we're going to do some spaghetti squash boats. I like the zucchini squash like boats too. I actually had some squash growing right now outside. Oh my goodness. Girl, you gotta be strong to cut these things, honey. And this, oh, it's so uneven. Yeah, it's uneven. Hold on. Let me see if I can even you out some. Probably not. Oh, well. Okay. Whatever. Y'all know I'm about to keep these seeds right. <laughs> I'm about to keep at least 10 of these seeds. We need some of these seeds because we need to see if we grow this ourselves. Even though I have some spaghetti squash going right now, we're going to put these seeds to the side. All right, let me scoop out the insides, rub it out with some oil. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook this. All right, so I'm going to save about 20, 25 seeds. I'm going to wash some of them dry aside. But this is where spaghetti squash gets its name. It becomes real stringy inside. I clean out the inside like you would do cantaloupe. That's what I do. We're going to season this up and oil it. Black pepper, paprika, this is some salt, garlic. It's salt, it is red pepper, it is parsley, basil, all the things. So I'm for sure going to use some of this in here. I just want to season it up well. So we're going to start with the boats and get them cooking. And then from there, we're going to go into what we're going to stuff the boats with. Okay. Just a little bit of coriander. Not too long. Not too much. Not too much. Paprika. It's smoked paprika, but mainly for color. Let's be honest. Smoked paprika is good, though. I ain't going to lie. A little black pepper, which I probably shouldn't. Add too much because of the um, red pepper flakes that's in here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of salt. So, a little bit, not a lot. Because I am going to season the um, the vegan crumbles that we're going to use. And y'all know I normally don't use vegan crumbles, but it is what it is today. All right, so I am using the extra virgin olive oil. This is one I get from OD, the organic one. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle that in in the middle, just like this. And I'm just going to put it back together. So normally, you'll see people make this with foil, put it in the oven, all the things. I'm not doing that. 
I'm, I'm all I'm kind of impatient. We already know this. Putting it back together, and I'm going to. I'm just gonna put some water in here, and I would say like um, a half an inch of water. I have my. I use this when we do uh, baked potatoes, so that we can just pull them out. I'm gonna put that in there, so it's not like just sitting in water. I'm gonna put this in here. Lock it up. Hold on. I want it to close though. Let me show you what it looks like in here. It looks just like this. So, we're just in here like this, and I really in the water on top of the water so it can steam. And I like the pressure cooker because the pressure cooker locks in flavors. Okay, let's get the pressure cooker. Put that on. What pressure cooker am I using today? This is the Instapot. I like the one that's from all the um, other one better, but we're going to use this one. I gave my son another one, so. I prefer the the Ambiano one. That's the one I prefer. It's huge, but it's the wrong plug. Hold on, it's my laptop. We can't start the pressure cooker with a laptop, honey. Oh my God, where's the cord? Okay. So we're gonna treat this as if it's basically like some beans or something. I'm gonna put it on 30 minutes, see what it look like, and then we're gonna put it back on if we need to. Put it on 30 minutes. I'm also going to try the acorn squash tomorrow and see what it tastes like stuff. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna put this one on as if it is, I'm just gonna do 25 minutes pressure. Hi. All right, and we'll be back. All right, so I just came outside to grab some herbs to put into the mixture that we're going to do with the vegan meats um, that I picked up from Gardan. I want to flavor it really well. I want to do the walnut meat, but I know a lot of people don't like the walnut meat, so I thought I'd just show you how I would make it using the processed meat. But um, yeah, so we have some lemon basil. I'm just going to cut a little bit of this. I'm not going to use this all. I'm just cutting some to have in the house. We have so much going on over here. There's a lot of bee activity, so I got to be careful with getting all these peppers that's off of here, back here. So, yeah, there's bees everywhere. I really don't want to disturb them. But anyway, I got some lemon basil. The stuffing, what are we going to do? I haven't purchased processed vegan plant-based anything in a long time y'all when it comes to like the meat part of the meals because they just have a lot of stuff in it this one actually has water textured soy protein it has like caramel color some sugar canola oil yeast extract salt onion powder anyway out of all the ones i feel like this has the less in it and this is why at one point I used to buy a garden, right? I'm not sponsored by a garden. I'm not just, I'm not trying to say the other ones are just horrible for you. Don't buy them. Do your own research. Do what you want to do. I just don't like the taste of Morningstar. And that other one is definitely enough for both $5 for this bag, right? And this is, what is it, a pound? No, it's 13.7 ounces. So we're going to use this as our meat substitute, okay? For the inners, I wanted mine a little spicy. I was going to get some peppers off that tower outside. I want to say they're hot, though. They're, like, really hot. So, what I'm going to do is just chop up some poblano peppers. Because y'all know it's one of my favorite peppers when I'm cooking. It's poblano pepper. When I'm eating them raw, it's mainly um, banana pepper. I'm only making two, so it's not like I need a lot. I probably won't even need, I probably won't make all that meat either, that meat substitute. I'll save some for later, since I'm only making two boats. If I was making four boats, then I would probably just go ham on it. But I want to actually um, enjoy the squash, the strings or whatever, the spaghetti part of it. I want to enjoy that. This smells so good and fresh, this uh, bell pepper from um, Aldi. I wonder what else would be good in this dish. I see people make it all the time. 
And um, yeah, it always looks really good. I just hate making it because I don't like putting it in the oven and waiting. I'm not a, I don't like waiting on food. I like instant, <laughs> instant food, y'all. I really do. That I'm so spoiled off of like Asian uh, stir fries because I really do like food that cooks quickly. A lot of onion. And then I'm just going to use some garlic from the jar. I'm not going to chop up any garlic because I need to go get some um, of that purple garlic. You know, the Mexican garlic. I don't like the white garlic at all. And that's all I've been seeing in stores. I'll put down what goes in here. I'm just going to say I put a tablespoon of the garlic because I kind of go wild on garlic. But like I said, use what you like. If you know you like to eat a certain, if you know you like to eat a certain vegetable or herb, just use that. You know, sometimes you could take these recipes and just make them your own. You do not have to follow them tick for tick, tap for tap. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to saute this down and where the onions become translucent. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the whole bag and what I'll do is just put some aside for later, for like tomorrow or something. So we already have an herb in here, but I am going to add a little bit more parsley. This is just the dry version of parsley from outside. Um, I've already added basil and it looks like there's some pineapple basil in here too. Look like I draw and put that in there. I'm going to add the sea salt. Like I said, we're not going to go too heavy on the salt because we've already seasoned that um, squash. And I don't know. I'm just, I don't like to put too much salt. I don't like to use too much salt. I like to use herbs in my food, just so you know. Some cumin. The middle of my hand, I always think is a tablespoon. That's, that's what my brain says. It's probably a little bit under, but let's just say I'm doing two tablespoons. Okay, do what you want to your taste. Some people like the one season where it's all season. I don't like that. I like I like each one of my seasons to be uh, separate sometimes. All right, so that's the that's all we're gonna season that with because I just don't want too much going on. You see how the steam pumped up this meat like with the quickness this meat substitute. I know sometimes y'all see all these raw meals and all these fancy, bougie meals that, you know, they taste good, y'all. I'm telling you, it looks funny sometimes, but they really are good and savory dishes, right? And y'all just want something that's like rem reminiscent of what you normally eat. So I got you. I got you. I I'm just trying to do as much as I can. I just don't want to buy a lot of those processed meats, though. That's not, that ain't my thing. I'm going to get this moved around a little bit. I normally like the two from Trader Joe's Organic Tea, but I just looked in the cabinet and there isn't any. This is actually Christopher's. <laughs> so, you got to replace that from when he makes his pasta. Now, the easiest way to make like your pasta like this, your pasta is to get you a sauce. But get you an organic sauce that don't have a lot of sugar and dairy in it. Make sure you read the back. A lot of those sauces have a lot of stuff in them. You know what I mean? As low as it can go. I like using tomato paste because I can control the taste of what I want my tomato sauce to be. Whether I want to have a hint of sweetness with a little bit of pink to raw sugar or a garlic flavor or a basil flavor. You know what I'm saying? I like to control the flavor of my sauce. And this is why I do it the way I do it. So I'm probably the only one that's eating this today. Because it's fun Friday for the kids. Oh, yes. Well, I just heard the pressure cooker beat. It's been 25 minutes. Let's see what our spaghetti squash is looking like. All right. Ooh. It worked. Look at that. It's soft and everything.
Man, it smells good. Yes, friend. Yes. Baby. Ooh, it just, oh, it is, oh my God. It's just like, yes, yes, and yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, friend. Oh, 25 minutes. Thank you, Lord. Because, baby, I was not waiting. She was not waiting. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this over here. We didn't have to use no foil. Look at that. That's a lot. Look how much is left. That's a lot left. That's why I'm saying how it swell up. So don't let that little pack fool you. Don't let that little pack fool you, friend. Okay, we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to make it even more savory. This is for my friends who can't let go of that cheese. I'm not a fan of any fake cheese like this. I'd rather make it myself. I do know that the one from Aldi, this particular one, not the yellow one, I can stand. All those other cheeses, the diet cheese and all that, I cannot, y'all, it's so salty to me. But this one is the less of the salt for me. Uh, even though I still have a lot of sodium. Yeah, seven servings per container. Well, we don't know about that. Because right now, we're just making a fall savory meal. That's what we're doing, right? That's why I say be careful with the salt. Because all this stuff got salt. Like, everything just got salt now. All right. So, we are going to put this in the oven. Just for a few minutes, till the cheese melts and does its thing. This is what it looks like before. And um, I'll show you what it like when it, I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So for those of you who are counting carbs, okay. So for a serving size, the carbs is eight grams in the body. However, you have five grams of fiber, so that gives you three net carbs, right? Three net carbs. We we got this. We could do this. For those of you all who worry about protein, you got 17 grams on this. Just this. The spaghetti squash is about six carbs per cup. I would say those are pretty big. I would say a little bit over a cup. So still, we're still under 10 carbs if we're talking about net, right? The cheese itself is eight carbs, I believe, per serving. I probably put two servings on each one. Either way it goes, honey, you still going to be about, I would say like under 20. <laughs> I don't know. 20-ish grams of carbs up for a whole meal instead of having like 40 grams of carbs off some pasta like you know pasta is can be really carby really heavy you know carbs turn to sugar not that good fruit no sugar okay bring it up so just do your research i used to use those apps back in the day i don't now because I, like i said i eat more plants than anything else so i'm not tripping on carbs especially when i know I'm getting really good vegetable carbs. It's going to fuel my body for this workout I'm doing tonight in the garage. All right, so I like hot sauce on my spaghetti, but um, we're just going to try it just like this and see what it tastes like. I'm going to get some of that bottom part up out of here. Kind of mix in. I guess I didn't put as much cheese as I thought I did. So maybe it's not that many carbs. Maybe it's not. You know, cheese is optional. You know, all this is optional. What you want to put on yours for sure. Mmm. This is good. So I like to put jalapenos and hot sauce on my spaghetti. I'm going to do that when I hang up with y'all. But right now, y'all, this is good. So the actual spaghetti squash is like almost creamy to me, right? 
It almost reminds me of almost like a spaghetti casserole. Baked spaghetti. You know how you make spaghetti and you bake it off or whatever and it gets a little bit softer texture instead of just spaghetti? Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to eat this whole thing. I'm going to save this one because I know for a fact Penny's going to want to taste this. I made this a long time ago, but I made it in the oven. I don't remember putting cheese on it. So I'm going to let Penny and Christopher taste this one. Maybe we'll put up a reel and show them tasting that one. Or a short. But this one, I'm about to eat this thing. Yeah. This is really good. So let me plate this and eat this. I hope you enjoyed this video. For those who have pressure cookers, it's so much that we can cook in a pressure cooker. Like, we literally don't have to turn the oven on for much of nothing anymore like we used to. Um, times have really, really changed. Y'all, this, this smells so good. It's, it, in my mind, I feel guilty. Like, I feel like I'm eating something really savory and not so great for me. That's how good this tastes. And, yeah, I'm about to tear this. Look how hot it is. I won't even wait. Oh, this is good. Let me know if you tried this recipe, y'all, and let us know what you use in your spaghetti squash to stuff it. Um, what's your spin on it? Let us know. And let us know how it tastes to you, okay? Tag me on Instagram at H2 Plant Based Beauty so we can share pictures with everyone else of your spaghetti squash. So that is your, that's your homework for the weekend, friend. All these have them from 80 something cent a pound. So you're not gonna pay them more than like two dollars, three dollars for this spaghetti squash, right? And you're gonna get a really nice, healthy, hearty meal. So I will see y'all later. Hope you have an amazing day. Y'all, this is so freaking good. Mm. I miss eating this. I'm gonna have to do this again. Oh my goodness. This is so good. You could add tomatoes in here, like into your meat sauce. I don't know. I don't know, but mine's a little spicy now. All right. I'm out. Peace and blessings. Thank you for watching. If you're new to once again, welcome to the channel. Make sure you click thumbs up if you like this type of video. So I make sure to make more video content like this. And make sure you subscribe so um, you'll see the next video and you'll be notified. Okay. Peace and blessings.